I think people are literally testing the waters, no pun intended, when it comes to going out there in Lake Lanier. This is probably the third Lake Lanier story I've done so far this year. The last time I talked about it was back in June, where you had a man who died in a freak accident while he was out there fishing with his wife. It was just crazy how all of that happened. Then there was another story involving someone who almost drowned, but he fortunately made it. But now we're talking about another person who decided to go out to Lake Lanier, and they did not make it. So this story is coming from Atlanta News First and it was posted September 1st, 2024. It says, a man died in Lake Lanier on Saturday while trying to swim back to his boat from the shore, according to the Georgia Department of Natural Resources. And I'm trying to figure out, it says he was trying to swim back to his boat. How did he even get that far away from his boat is the question, unless he parked his boat somewhere and decided to go for a swim and he just never made it back. Around 2 p.m., game wardens, Forsyth County deputies, and fire department crews from Forsyth and Hall counties were called to Bethel Park. Using motor, using boat-mounted sonar, the wardens found the body of 46-year-old Hassani Kamal Weidman from bindings in 25 feet of water. Forsyth County Fire Department divers, with the help of a Hall County remote-operated vessel, recovered Weidman's body, the DNR said. Whiteman isn't the first person to die on Lake Lanier this year. In May, a 73-year-old man, this is the story I was referring to earlier, drowned when his boat seen, boat seat came loose, causing him to fall into the water. About a week later, in June, a 76-year-old man who was last seen on his dock was found dead in 13 feet of water. And again, it, there was the other story of the one who almost drowned, but he was able to make it. Y'all can keep playing with this lake if you want to, but y'all gonna keep on finding out the hard way that Lake Lanier doesn't discriminate. It will claim whoever. I'm telling you, the ancestors are rumbling down there. Remember, there was also like an earthquake down near there around the time when the second guy had died down at that lake. Y'all can keep playing with them if you want to. I'm telling you right now, that lake is so scary, I wouldn't even want to fly over it. Because who knows? You just never know. And I had told someone on X, I said, this lake might be more haunted than Camp Crystal Lake from Friday the 13th. But I can honestly tell you, when I hear stories like this, I don't feel bad for the people that go out there and, and unfortunately, if this happens to them, if this is, if this is the conclusion, I don't feel bad for them because... How many stories have we seen over the years where people go to this lake and they end up dying? We don't hear these type of stories coming from any other lake except this one. But y'all want to keep going out there and it, it is what it is. And it's crazy because Lisa just did a live about a Lake Lanier docuseries literally the day before this story came out which is also the same day that this happened now i don't know if she caught it and put it into her life but what are the odds that she spoke about a lake linear docuseries the day before this story about a man drowning at that same lake happened Y'all can keep testing those waters if you want to. I'm staying out of it. If I get in any type of water, it's going to be a pool where I can actually see my surroundings. I don't even like messing with beach water like that. And it's, if I go to the beach and I put my feet in the water, I make sure I am on the edge of the shore. I don't be going out there all far to the point where you have to use a surfboard. I'm not trying to deal with it. Y'all can play with that and with nature if you want to. They, I don't know if anyone's ever heard, but they say water is one of the most deadly forces in the world, one of the most deadliest elements in the world. And when you think about those currents, that's very easy to say. And it's crazy because this is a lake where there are no currents. I think that's probably what makes it more scary. It's not like you're an ocean water, you're at a lake. So the water is very calm. But apparently other entities feel otherwise. Y'all better stop y'all better stop disturbing that lake. We keep warning you over and over again but y'all want to keep on going out there and seeing what happens and as you can see by this story and several others that i've talked about this is what's going to continue to happen this it's gotten so bad with lake lanier that i remember doing a whole live stream just talking about lake lanier and the stuff going on down at that lake over the last few years but all we can be is the messenger